Hello, this is Kunal Raja with WCI Consulting. Today we will talk about how to set up an email and data services for like a job. So for example, if you set up a job and you run it and you want to get an email alert whether the job uh, ran successfully or it failed, uh, you can set that up in data services and we'll show you the step-by-step -step on how to do that. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to actually do open up the data services server manager and in data service manager you want to go to miscellaneous in miscellaneous here you want to enter the information that you have in your central management console or the CMC where you have your server and your sender information and you apply that over here so that way when data services calls the job and it calls the server it'll call this server and send the email from this sender account this is actually important when you want to set up the job so with this once you have that in, in there you can apply and you want to click close and restart so then that way it applies it and then when you open up data services you can set that up now in data services in your job you can set up a job separately or if you have a job existing you can set the email to this so today actually I have a test email job that I have set up and in that I'll talk, I'll talk about the script of what you can use Typically, your job will, will look something like this, where you will have a script, and you'll have a try, and then you'll have a catch, and then you'll have the, the end of email script. In the catch, you'll want to put your fail job, just in case of suppose your, your job fails, so that way it can catch that and send that out to you and not error out the whole entire job. So the first important thing to do is, as you set variables, you want to set a variable for a test to email. So for example, we have here test G test email. You want to set that new variable. It's important to set that up for an email. So you just go right here, click right click, click insert. You want to open this new one that I just inserted and go to properties. And in properties, you want to type in that variable that you had in your script. Probably want to set this up to a bar card and set that to a length of a thousand. The reason being is if suppose you have multiple emails that you want to set up, you can set that up in this. So now back to that script that we have, you have your define process ID, process ID. In there you have the G test emails and you set your that to the email you want it to go to. So for us we've got this email that we are going to have it to go to as a test. Once you're done with this screen, you can go back and then you set up a try, which will then basically try the job, and then you go into your catch, which is where you'll put your fail script email. And the fail script email, you want to use something like this, where you have a, a begin, you, you have your variable in there that you have for the error, and then you want to do your try and then the send SMTP underscore two, that actually means you send mail to person. And then you put in that actual, that actual variable that you have set up with you know, text error. You can have this set as anything, like even whatever job your, your test is called. And then you can have the message in there. And it'll do a catch, and then you'll do an end. So you want to have this, con this syntax in there in order for it to catch that. You have to go out of this, and once you go into that, then if suppose if it wasn't a failure and it was a success, then you go into the new script, which is the email script. Typically, you will call this a success script, but over here we've called it an email script. And here again, you want to do the same syntax. You want to do a begin, a try, and you want to use the same similar syntax, where you'll do the variable, the subject and then you can have the message in there and you can put, type in a message so that way that message you know shows up in your email you want to um, print email sent for successful job you can also have it send where this is instead of being a success just say job completed this is actually to say so if the, if the job failed but it completed, you'll know that something completed on there, but something within the job failed. 
and you again want to use the same syntax when you type it out. And that's it. I mean, once you are done with this, you are ready to go. You can, you know, after this, you can even go into the data console, set up your job, and you can set up a new batch job schedule, which will have this. So then every single night, it can email you once the batch runs, whether it's a successful batch or a failure batch. And that's it for today.